So if you collect social security benefits, you know somebody that does, or you are thinking about collecting social security very soon, well, you need to watch this entire video because we now are starting to see multiple problems when it comes to social security. And when I say problems, I mean more so of an issue. The number one issue that we are seeing right now is that lawmakers cannot agree as to where to start. Do they start with the Social Security Administration? Do they start with the Social Security Trust Fund? Do they figure out a way to reform the entire program? Well, that's what we don't know. But the good news is we should have answers very soon. Now, today we're going to talk about Social Security and the fact that we could actually be seeing it become insolvent sooner than 2033. We're also going to talk about a chance of a 20% cut and another one, we could see wait times, we could see uh, just the overall service that you get. This could, wait times could become longer, service could be diminished. So I will address all that in today's video. All I ask is if you enjoy these daily updates, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button and let's get right down to it. So here's the first one. Social security recipients could face a rapid increase of wait times to receive benefits if Congress fails to increase funding for the program. This is according to the union representing its workers. Now, what are they talking about? Well, here's the thing. Right now, there is one big discussion. And this big discussion is regarding the, uh, the federal funding for fiscal year 2024. Look at this says right here, House Republicans are proposing funding cuts for social for the Social Security Administration. This is exactly what's happening. Right now, we have seen, or over the past couple of months, we have seen negotiations start and stop regarding where funding is going. Are we going to get the, the $1.5 trillion in funding? Okay, are we going to get that? Are we going to see much less? Well, the answer is yes. According to the last reports, right now Republicans are proposing $1.385 trillion to go to the American uh, people, the US government, and all that, even Ukraine. So, where does that take us? Well, here's where things are at right now. It says right here, as Republicans start laying out their proposals for what spending to cut next year, Social Security Administration employees are warning that their budget could mean longer wait times and potential dire circumstances for beneficiaries. Here's the thing, okay? Republicans on the committee released their Labor, Health, and Human Services Education and Related Agencies Appropriations Bill last week, including a $183 million cut to the Social Security Administration. If the Social Security Administration gets less money, less funding, this means that wait times, let's say you have a question, let's say you want to call in, you need to go to an appointment. Well, if you need to call in, chances are your wait time is going to be a little bit longer. If you need to go into an appointment, here's the problem. Your office, your local office could be closed. They could simply shut down that office altogether until they get more funding. The next thing is maybe the hours aren't open from eight to four. Maybe they're only open till from 10 to two. Four hours, yeah, that's what they're considering. So again, major issues there. Here's the next one, a cut. It says social security, 20% cuts to your payments could come sooner than expected. Well, how much sooner? Well, according to this report, it says, in, a, in, a, in more alarming news about the state of Social Security, some experts are warning that up to 20% in payment cuts could be coming as early as 2032. That's nine years. That's nine years, okay? Keep in mind, that could happen in the beginning of 2032, which would be less than nine years. And that is only if Congress does not intervene with measures to, preserve, to preserve funding for the program says right here, upwards of 66 million people currently receive benefits, with the average coming in around $1,691. Well, 
according to a January 2023 data from the Social Security Administration. It says cuts of 20% would see payments shrink to $1,352, which is going backwards from the progress made to increase benefits through cost of living adjustments, the last of which came earlier this year and bumped payments amounts by 8.7%. It says more than half of retirees say that even higher adjustments isn't going to get uh, to get by on. Um, so here's the problem. The cost of living adjustment for 2024 is actually going to be less, okay? You can see this article right here from Fox News, Fox Business, it says, social security recipients could see a smaller benefits bump in 2024. Well, how much smaller? Keep in mind, it was 8.7% in 2023. Here's the thing, it could be eight we're actually 3%, so lower by 5.7% in 2024. This is according to the Senior Citizens League. They also say that it would only increase your amount roughly by $53.60 per month. That is huge. And think about this, okay? Right now, we're worried about this. We're worried about a 20% decrease. That, that's big. A 20% decrease is big. But that wouldn't happen for possibly nine or 10 years. What would happen immediately is you might only see a $53 raise per month. That's where things become a major problem, especially when we are still seeing inflation. It, yes, it's coming down. It's not coming down as quickly as some would have hoped. And the worry is we might see inflation right now at its bottom, but what if it starts to tick back up? That's the worry. How can the American people survive if inflation goes back up? So, what I wanna leave you with today regarding Social Security is that the good news, the one piece of good news, is that lawmakers are still working to try to get something done for Social Security recipients. The bad news is that they are trying to first figure out how do they fund the, the government? for fiscal year 2024. Once they figure that out, and I have a I have a worry that we are going to see a cut to the Social Security Administration. So if you have questions, concerns, you are wanting to go and collect benefits, honestly, and this isn't financial advice, but you might wanna look into it sooner rather than later. Because if the US government does see their funding get cut, Social Security is likely going to be one of those programs that doesn't get all the funding. And if that happens, well, your local Social Security office might get closed, they might get a reduction to hours, or you might have to make phone calls. And making phone calls to anybody, especially within the government, takes a long, long time. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you have any questions regarding Social Security, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 